Hello, folks, and thanks for joining me. Well, another update as to what is going on with uh, the problems with the Hike Micro firmware updates. Now, I had a contact yesterday to say that another member of the technical team uh, was on an aircraft yesterday morning flying over here to the UK. Now, it's just unfortunate for us all that this has happened over a weekend, but I can assure you they are on the case and getting it sorted out. Uh, Elite Optical, who are the distributors here in the UK, they have a Facebook page. Now, I don't do Facebook, but I was sent yesterday from Duane down in Oakhampton in Devon, a link to a Facebook page that has come from Elite Optical. So if you do Facebook, go on the Elite Optical site. Uh, there is a link on there. Well, he sent, Duane sent it me specifically for the Falcon, but I'm sure the guys down in Elite are also um, pulling all the stops out to get this sorted out. Thank you again for all your comments. Uh, they have been passed on and I'm particularly grateful for the fact that everybody has kept their call. As I said before, there's no point shouting and hollering and being offensive to these people. Um, that certainly won't help matters. And as I asked before, you haven't done that. So a big thank you to you. And uh, I am very, very grateful for that. Any emails that have been sent to me, I have forwarded on to the technical team. So they are seeing that as they are all reading your messages. So there's been a lot of suggestions on there uh, regarding the Zoom uh, and other functions and also the LRF function uh, as to why they can't just have one reticle that moves up and down rather than a secondary reticle so all this stuff is being read please don't think it's just going one way and then thrown in the bin it's not anyway coming up is some footage that andy taylor my mate he has got an fx impact m3 it's a 25 cal fac and andy has got the alpex lrf on there it's the 4k version so there's some footage from a couple of weeks ago which was before the update and some footage from last night. Now it's easy to determine which is which because Andy was using the new sepia colour on there, uh, which I found quite useful because I can actually see a red reticle. So thank you, Andy. Uh, it obviously is uh, workable. You can sort it out. If anybody is still having problems with their LRF and putting all the settings in it, drop a note on here. Andy will be looking at the comments. Uh, he's a good chap and I'm sure he will help you out wherever he can. So once again, thank you all for your support. Um, it's It's been fantastic to see everybody uh, jumping on the same bus. And uh, I think all together we will get this sorted out. I said it's just unfortunate for us it's happened when it has over a weekend. So thank you all. Uh, let's keep the faith and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Keep your eyes on the date underneath that record warning. This is the 12th of August. You will know when we go over to the new firmware because of the change of screen. Okay, stand by now to go over to after the firmware, 23rd of August. There we go. I'll leave you with Andy. Andy has obviously ranged these before putting the recorder on, but I will freeze this in a minute so you can see the ranges that he's shooting at. His rifle zeroed at 78, as you can see. That did just say 79.
This one I'm going to freeze. That's 112 yards. So you can see that second reticle now has dropped down to 8.9 inches. And you do actually hear the pellet. I'll, I'll replay this again. You do hear the pellet strike very faintly in the distance. Play that once again. There's the freeze, 112 yards. So the ballistics do work once you've got them all set up. Another one now, look, that's 10.5 or 10 and a half inch drop, so it's even further out. Good solid hit. Well, I hope that's proved that it does work once you've got the settings up. Thanks, Andy, and I'm sure Andy will be on hand to help. Thank you again to Hike. I say keep the faith. They will get us sorted out. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and also hit the old subscribe. I'll see you again soon with some more news.